Good afternoon. Um, I'm Ike Zimmer. I'm the executive chef at the Charting Clubhouse in charge of uh, Western food. And thanks for joining me today. We'll be cooking apple and blackberry crumble. Um, very homey, very comforting meal. Food, actually, dessert. Um, the Americans call it cobbler. In Germany, we call it streusel. And obviously, a long time I worked in England, um, and that's why we stick with the name of crumble. What we need for the crumble, for the crust, on top, we have some equal amounts of butter, flour, sugar, a little bit of cinnamon that's going to be for the toppings. And on the bottom, we have the blackberries. We have some apple, which I'm going to flavor with a little bit of orange zest, grated, and a little bit of sour lime zest, lemon zest, just to give it a little um, zing. So let's start by making the crust. So for the crust, what we have is we have the butter. We have flour, very simple to do, equal amounts, so 60, 60, 60 gram or 100, 100, 100, depending on how, how much you're making. And you can put that all together. We have a little pinch of cinnamon, just for flavor. Uh, it's the ideal marriage, apple and cinnamon is a, is a classic, so you can't go wrong with that. And then we just crumble this up. Very easy to do. It's also a nice dish to cook. If you have kids, it's a nice dish to get the kids involved, to do a little bit of the playing around with food. Very easy. So we have the flour in here, like I said, the sugar and the butter and a pinch of cinnamon. We just crumble this up into a little, you can see how it mi mixes together. And that's going to be beautiful um, on top of the fruit afterwards. And once we bake it, you have a nice golden brown, rich, buttery, crumbly texture, which is ideal for the fruit, uh, which is obviously stewed underneath. Almost there, as you can see. This is quite a quick process. Important is that the butter is not, um, that the butter is not too cold. So it's a little bit easier to work. You could use a machine, but I don't think there's any need for that, as you can see. Very simple. So this is what we're looking for. All parts are mixed together. That is the step one of our crumble. So we set this aside and we will need it a little bit later. For the filling or for the, the bottom of the dish, we have some green apples and some blackberries. This is just one of the combinations you can have. Another combination, it's up to you, your preference, what you like. Peach and raspberry is a nice one. Uh, pear, and pear is also very good. Pear, walnuts and figs could be a nice crumble. Cherries, also very, very good. Basically, any fruit in season you can make into, into, a, into a crumble. So I'm just going to peel the apple. You'll be using um, Granny Smith, one of my favorite apples also to eat, quite versatile. We just peel them and then we're going to cut them up into, into chunks. Not too small when we cut them, because as they stew, we don't want them to go into a puree. We want them to keep their shape a little bit. Some people don't peel their fruits, you know, um, but I, I think it's, it's a much more refined uh, end result if you, if you do
just take the core out where the seeds are. You can use an apple core if you want, but usually um, I just cut around it. And that, that's the trick. So now all the ovens are peeled, you just cut them, and this sort of size is perfect. Not too small, as I said, we want to keep the texture of the apple, uh, you know, once they cook. Now we're going to put them in the bottom and we put the crust on top, and as the apple cooks and all the juices come out of the apple and they mix together with the sugar we're going to add and the blackberries. Um, texture, texture is also very important. Doesn't need to be perfect. You don't have to spend too much time of cutting them all the same size and very accurate. Just quarters is fine. And you probably can calculate, you know, if, you, if you're wondering how much apple do I need. Um, for one person, I recommend about one and a half apple um, for a crumble. This one is probably enough for two, for two people to share. I have a very sweet tooth, so I'm going to finish that by myself. So here we have the apple. We have the washed blackberries. We put them in. Little sprinkle of sugar. We have a vanilla seed, which we're going to cut in half. The vanilla is um, from the orchid, and you can see the seeds. This, this is what gives it the, the, the beautiful, um, rich vanilla flavor, obviously. Um, so you just cut in half, put the seeds inside, and then mix it. This one, if you cook like a like a custard, or if you if you want to use make make vanilla sugar, usually what we do is in the kitchen when they're in half, we just put them into sugar. All the empty ones we using we using ten or fifteen a day, and then we put it in sugar, and it actually flavors the sugar. So that's a little tip if we have large amounts of vanilla. To put the empty pots into sugar. So in here we have the apples, sugar, the vanilla, the blackberries. Small amount of cinnamon, again, just a little pinch. And that's entirely up to you. I always like a little bit of uh, lemon zest. So this is an organic lemon, um, also washed, so there is no fear of any uh, contamination or pesticides on there. Just a little half a lemon for this amount is sufficient. And if you like, also a little bit of orange zest. Same again, organic. And it, it gives it a nice aroma. You know, citrus aroma is with the apple and the blackberries works very well together. Okay. So what we have now is our two parts. The crumble mix I made earlier, and now we have the fruit. We just mix all the sugar, Apples, blackberries, the zest, mix it well together so all the flavors get distributed all around. Some people put a little bit of butter in, up to you, gives it a little bit better flavor, but obviously it makes it also a little bit more caloric. So entirely up to you, I think what we have in here is sufficient. Then we have our dish. Make sure your dish is uh, relatively deep. Don't use too flat because the the balance of fruit and crumble needs to be needs to be the right amount. So I would say two thirds of fruit when they're raw, which will collapse after cooking into by half, and then one third is the crust on top. So now we place all this in our dish. You can see 
you have the blackberries, the apples, you see the marbling with the lemon zest and orange zest and the vanilla. Already smells quite beautiful and we haven't done anything to it yet. This goes all on top. Yeah, so don't worry, this looks a lot, you know, you have it right to the edge, but once it's cooked, as I said, the fruit will get soft and, and will come, come down a little bit. So then we place the crumble on top. And that's entirely up to you how generous you want to be with the crumble. Because obviously this is the, this is the caloric part of the flour, butter and sugar. So if you're on a diet and you want to look after your waistline, just keep it a little less. If it's like me, you love sweets, then you put a little bit more on there. And just clean this up. Yeah, you see? And this was now in the oven 180 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes until the crust is golden brown um, and, and, and cooked. So the crumble is looking good. It's been 25 minutes, depending on the oven, 25 to 30 minutes um, um, is, the, is the norm, is the guideline. But this is smelling pretty amazing. And as you can see, all the juices of the blackberries and the apples bubbling away there. The smell is amazing. Unfortunately, you cannot smell it, but you smell all the citrus note. The cinnamon is coming through the orange. It is, it smells delicious. Please let this rest because obviously this is very, very um, cold, uh, hot, cold. This is very, very hot, so let it rest and also for the juices to, to get back into the fruit. So, so don't, when it's warm, the, 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 the juices are very liquid. Once you let it get to, to a tepid temperature, to room temperature, it almost thickens a little bit up and it makes it like really, really um, delicious and, and, and fruity and creamy to eat. Yeah, so we have a little bit of icing sugar on top. And this one you can serve with either custard, just normal double cream, mascarpone is nice, or you make yourself a little um, um, custard um, with a touch of cinnamon if you want. But if you open this one up now, you will see the apples, the berries, the juice, and it just, the smell is just amazing. You see all the textures, all the colors. I hope you enjoyed making this um, apple and blackberry crumble with me um, and I see you soon. Thank you.